The next type of transformation I'd like to talk about is scaling, to kind of stretch and compress graphs both horizontally and vertically. Now, horizontal, again, is going to be close to the x coordinate. It's going to be close to the x. And it's also going to be backwards. So, if we have a number here like 2, you know, 2 times x, you would think this would double the width or stretch the graph by 2 units. But in fact, it's the opposite because it's horizontal. So this actually shrinks. the graph horizontally by a factor of you know, 1 over b, if you will. But in this case, if b was like a half, a half times x, you would think that would cut the width of the graph or scale it down by uh, one half. Nope, horizontal is backwards. So rather than shrink the graph, it's going to stretch the graph horizontally by a factor of, again, one over b. So if this is a half, it's going to stretch by 2. 1 over a half is 2. So it'll double the width, if you will, of the graph. Whereas here, if b is 2, it's going to shrink by a half. Now, that was horizontal. Each transformation comes in a horizontal and vertical flavor. So once again, we have these two conditions where we could be stretching or we could be shrinking, depending upon whether our, the factor we're multiplying by is greater than 1 or between 0 and 1. So vertical does exactly what you want it to do. Multiplying the y values, multiplying the function by, say, 2, will indeed stretch the graph vertically by 2, by that whatever that parameter is. So if it's 2, 3, 4, whatever it'll stretch vertically by 2, 3, 4, whatever the value of A is. On the other hand, if A is between 0 and 1, if it's like a half or a quarter or a third, you're going to be shrinking the Y values, so shrinking vertically by a factor of A again. So let's take a look at some examples of that. So I'm looking at problem 8 in section 1.5 on page 122. And I see that we're defining f of x to be the square root function, just square root of x. Now g of x is defined to be the square root function but with an extra 2 on the outside, 2 times square root of x. And h of x is defined so that the 2 is on the inside of the square root it's square root 2x. Now in this case, 
here in H, the 2 is, is as close as it can get to X. So this is a horizontal scaling because we're multiplying or dividing. Multiplying and dividing result in um, stretching or contracting, stretching or shrinking. So since it's as close to the X as possible, this is a horizontal transformation. And in fact, you can see that if instead of X, you replace X with 2X, you get H of X. So this is a horizontal transformation where we're multiplying X's by 2. You'd think that would stretch, but this is horizontal. So it's the exact opposite. It's going to shrink by a factor of one-half. It's going to shrink, and this is horizontally, by a factor of one-half. And G here, the 2 isn't as close to the X as it could be. We could move, you know, you could imagine moving the 2 inside the square root like it is here, and that would be as close as it could get. So this 2 here is not a horizontal transformation, it's a vertical transformation. And since it's multiplication, it's a vertical stretch or shrink. And vertical does exactly what you want it to do. So this is going to stretch by a factor of 2. 